Hi. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can work with Google Sheet with R. So usually we receive uh, you know a lot of work where um, Google Sheet is majorly used to store some data, and then again we need to take that back to Google Sheet. So uh, I also received these kind of uh, you know requests. So earlier what I was doing I was getting the data in Google Sheet, I was exporting it and taking to R, and then doing the similar thing. But that was quite hectic. When we already have data stored somewhere, why don't why we export that into CSV and do the manipulation? So I started looking out for uh, some direct ways using which I can manage my Google Sheet directly through R, do the manipulation and save it back to the R, um, save it back to the Google Sheet only. And uh, um, there is a package called as Google Sheets. That package um, has been uh, developed and you can find the details of that package you know, in the URL uh, that I will share in the description box. You can check that URL. And using that particular package named Google Sheets, you can do all the manipulation you need. So let's start and see how to work with Google Sheet in R. So uh, this is a basic video. Here we'll be talking about how to authenticate your Google account um, for R to use, how to create a file, how to read a file, how to manipulate a file, how to insert some data. So these basic things we'll be doing it today. We may go ahead with the further details or you know in the next video. So let's start and see how this can be done. So first of all, you need to install a package with the name called as Google Sheets. This package help you connect R to the Google Sheet and do all kind of manipulations you need. This might take some time depending upon your internet speed. Once this package is downloaded, you need to initialize the package as you do for any other R system. So for initialization, just put uh, library. Okay. Yep. Now we have this package initialized. Now one of the packages initialized, you need to add a new user, like you need to authenticate your Google account with this, right? So this will take you to the browser, make sure your browser is open for uh, uh, faster delivery. Yeah, so it will take you, uh, you know, to the browser. So this will take you to uh, this screen where you need to select the Google account. I have already selected one of my Google account here. Now it's asking me to, uh, you know, allow the access to the Google account. This will allow R to use and manage uh, our Google Sheets. And that's what we are looking to do here, right? So simply uh, click on allow and then you will be shown a code here. This code you need to paste it back to R. So simply um, copy from here and now it's asking me enter authorization code and now simply paste it, right? Yeah, uh, it has been authenticated and now you can do whatever operation you want to do on your Google account, right? So I'm just um, going to open my Google account, Google Sheet. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm just opening my Google Sheet. Okay, this is my Google Sheet uh, account. Like um, it has majorly four, uh, you know, sheets created. So if I want to check these sheets, I can simply put GS underscore LS, right? And this, yeah, this has given me four sheets and uh, their details like who are the authors, the title, and multiple other, you know, parameters which uh, I may need. Okay. Now, if you want to, you know, get the details of the one sheet. Uh, I will paste all these codes also in the description box so you can download it over there. So let's say I have a uh, seat there with the name called like, empty cars and if I want to check that uh, you know seat here so I can first read that seat called as like, empty cars. Okay yeah it has uh, success I have uh, read that uh, you know empty car successfully. So now if you want to read the content of that you can use the function called as GS underscore read and this four underscore GS is a variable name that I have used. Simply do it 
and yeah, it is accessing the worksheet title empty cars underscore data set. This empty cars underscore data set is my worksheet name inside the sheet called as empty cars and it has 580 bytes of data with these columns, right? So this particular empty car sheet is nothing but, um, you know, the data having our original empty cars data, uh, you know, or data set we have. So if you will check the structure of empty cars also you will get the similar kind of you know columns right like geo curb etc that we have received here so so far i hope we are good on this now if you want to check the structure of this you can simply put str and you will get all those details with uh, you know some of the uh, values also displaying now let's say we want to manipulate right so let's say let's open this empty cars and uh, can you see this the first uh, column is 100 uh, like the first value of mpg is 100 the first value of cylinder is 200 so now let's say we want to uh, change this 100 to 1 and 200 to 2 right so we want to basically manipulate the value so for that what you can do you can simply use a function called gs underscore rate underscore sales for this for gs is my variable name that we have used here yeah right this variable name and then WS is basically the worksheet name. So my worksheet name is empty cars underscore data set. That's basically the sheet name, right? Anchor is A2. A2 means it will start from this value, right? So this is the A column. This is the second row. So it will start from this value. And then input is, uh, let's uh, uh, change 100 to 1 and 200 to 2. So I need to provide 1 here and to provide 2 here. So as I have provided two values, it will, and I have selected by row equal to true. So it will start changing new row by. So first it will change this. As I have provided two values, it will change these two values, right? So let's uh, do it and see if it is really changing. Okay, so it says range affected by update. Worksheet have been successfully updated. Now check the value, yeah? We have successfully converted that 100 to one and 200 to two. Now, here we have done row by. So it has changed uh, A2 and B2. If we will, uh, you know, make the uh, by row false, then it will change vertically. So let's change this one to, let's say 500 and this 2.1 to, let's say 600 and see how it works, All right? So let's convert this into F. I'll change that one to 500 and two to 600 and see how it works. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm just waiting the data to be updated. Okay, it says successfully updated two values. Yeah, we have been able to do it, right? So this way you can also manipulate, uh, you know, the data. Now, if you want to create a new sheet, you can also do that using uh, a function called a gs underscore new. So let's uh, create a sheet with the name called as video data, okay? So it might take a few moment uh, to actually create your file. Yeah, it has done. And the worksheet dimension is this, 1000 by 26. Right, that's the standard file. So let's go back to uh, the home of Google Sheet. And now you should find a sheet called as video data. Yeah, this is uh, what we have created, right? And it should be a blank one. Yeah, it's a blank one. So this way you can create a new file also using R. Or if you want to create a new file with some data in it, you can do it. For example, I have what I have done here is gs underscore new is to create the new uh, file title. I have created, uh, let's say, I want to create a new uh, sheet with the name id uh, hyphen one, and uh, uh, the data sheet uh, title is for sheet, and the input data that I want to write it over here is iris, right? So iris is the inbuilt data set in R that you can use. So let's do it. It might take few moment because this Irish data set is having some, uh, you know, uh, values, right? It has around, I think, uh, 150 uh, records with some um, variables. So it might take certain, you know, a certain time to get that created. So once this will be done, you will find a new worksheet created. Yeah, it has already been created. So uh, by this time, it might be writing the data for you. Yeah, it has already written the data as well, right? So this way you can create, so it has written a worksheet of dimension this and successfully added 755 new values, right? So those 755 new values, you can check it there. Like this, you can create a new uh, Google Sheet, manipulate the Google Sheet, save it back, read the Google Sheet files data using R. 
So we are stopping it here. Uh, we'll be going to some advanced function in the next video.